I am going to teach you all how to make my mom's famous yeast rolls. You are going to start by putting three-fourths of your flour in a mixing dish. Make sure you have everything measured out before you start. You're going to add your sugar. You're also going to add your salt to this mixture. You're going to add your yeast. And then we're going to add the butter. You're going to mix this on a very low speed, like one, and add your milk and eggs. And then once this is all combined, you are going to slowly add the remaining part of your flour. Add this flour a little bit at a time until you see the dough form. Once the dough is formed, you are going to spread this out on a floured surface. I would say about one cup of flour and then you're just going to knead this until the dough is not sticky. If you need more flour, it's okay. Add more flour to the surface, but you want this to be a nice formed ball of dough. Once your dough is all formed and it's no longer sticky, you're going to take a container any type of bowl, a plastic bowl or a metal bowl, and you are going to butter this bowl from top to bottom. Make sure you butter every inch of the bowl. It is very important because we're going to put our ball of dough in this bowl and this dough is going to rise. You want this to rest in a warm place for one hour and you will see that this is going to expand. Once it's about double in size, here comes the fun part, punch it. You're going to punch the dough until you get all of the air out. Now it's time to make our rolls. I like to separate the dough in half and then take that half and separate that in another half <laughs> and then take that half, I know, and then make your, your rolls. Now this is going to ensure that your rolls are the same size. This is my method. You can use whatever method you want to. You can do different shapes, but I like to roll these in a ball and you're gonna place these on a buttered surface and make sure they are touching each other. Once you have gotten them all rolled out, you're going to let these rise again for another hour or so and they will double in size and then it's time to put butter, melted butter on top of these and you're going to bake these in the oven at 400 for 15 to 18 minutes and voila, you have these delicious rolls. Bon appetit, let's eat.